Hi, how's it going? Gonna report uh, on my half marathon and let you know basically how I'm going. I did uh, last Sunday did the uh, first Kamioka half marathon in Kyoto. It was a nice race, the weather was good and the course is good out and back. I had the splits up here, I'll let you know how I went. You can pretty uh, the first it was crowded, I got put in the B group and which was I don't know, I mean it wasn't that far back. There's of course A, B and right back down the alphabet. But the B group uh was fighting my way through the crowd. My first uh K split was like four four minutes. Number two I got started to get going, it was uh like three forty nine and then three three was three fifty one three fifty one which is all right then we hit a hill and the hill went up I got four or six four fourteen so it's about t two k's to get up that hill and uh of course the pace dropped a little bit and didn't really look at the course but I think it went up for about hundred meters over those two two k's but it seemed like it was, I mean, I was a bit shocked when I hit that hill. I thought, oh no, I'm going to be in trouble here. And my time was dropping. But once I crested the hill, it was flat. And I got uh, back on pace. I got three, the, the seventh K was 3.45. Same again, now 3.45 for the eighth K and 3.47 for the ninth K. 3.46 for the 10 K, so I was on pace. And we turned around just after 10 K. And... Um, 11 was 350 and I started to from 11 through to well, 11 through to like next 4k I dropped a bit uh, 354 347 357 356 I don't know maybe a bit of loss of concentration I thought I was going all right but uh, then we're coming down the hill I got some time back there and I got 335 down the hill 331 and I kept after that I was down the hill got a nice 343 and then 346 for 18 19 K and I pushed on uh, the last 20 was 3 20 K was 352 21 357 so yeah, I dropped a little bit at the end it was getting a little bit tired but I'm pleased with the last you know, 5k it was a bit uh, it was about 1830 I think which is not bad for on the second, I mean, on my half marathon, the last 5k of a half marathon. So a lot good can come from that. If I didn't have that lapse of concentration, like from 10 to 15k, and I went out a bit faster, I don't know, good 119. So I think uh, I'm on track again. I don't know why I had such a bad 10k uh, the week before. I did, basically, I almost, the second 10k of my half marathon was almost as fast as my 10k the week before maybe a bit of overtraining uh, or going too fast like Ewan said he gave some good advice too I'm gonna take it I was actually watching uh, Sage Canada's uh, race report from the Californian uh, International Marathon and he missed his goal again uh, I think he just got under 220s he's trying to get uh, 216 I think and uh, he didn't make it but he puts that down to overtraining just a little bit too hard a few hard sessions uh, at the end of his training that he didn't really need to do me too I think it's you get it's, it doesn't take much to push you over and uh, it's better to go into the races a bit underdone than overdone is so overdone and once you get those uh, you got those damage to, to the micro tears in your legs uh, muscle muscle fibers and stuff I mean, you probably you can't really get away with it, uh, anything over 10k, maybe you can get away with it on the shorter races, but not uh, the halves or that, but I think I was rested up, I took it, I think the Friday off and, and Thursday off for this half marathon, uh, simply because I was working hard and I couldn't get the run in, but uh, that helped I think with the half marathon, gave me a bit more, um, I was rested up a little bit going into it. Anyway, uh, they, like you live and learn, you know, and and uh, I think that's what happened with Boston too. I pushed a little bit too far. I was really well 
I was ready to run sub 240 I'm sure in Boston but the weather and the overtraining right at the end uh, pushed me over I've got to really be careful about that and uh, dehydration too especially in the winter you don't drink much but you're still getting dehydrated because you're putting in the um, the time and the uh, the hard session so you gotta keep drinking all right uh, well that's it for uh, now the next one is a 10k I've got a 10k on January 10th and I'll train this is over the Christmas period so I have to watch eating too much but yeah get some a lot of uh, rest in before that one and keep some good training up but not pushing it too hard I think I've got a, I'm gonna plan with Vince where we um, like run run uh, one kilometer uh, me in front and then uh, him behind me and then him changing like that just that will help to keep the pace up and keep uh, you know if somebody takes a lead and then you can just sort of go on autopilot and then the and then next you take the lead it just makes the time go quicker and I think it's a bit easier running with somebody so if I can um, and I think all bets are off in the last 2k but if I can keep get a really good pace on 8 I'm on a good time on 8k I can uh, push it home for a PB so I'm, I'm looking for one that'll be 2016 so I want to get uh, a 10k PB early if I can so that's the goal and then at the just before the end of January the end of January got a half marathon so hopefully if the weather's good for that to I'll uh, hit a PB there too anyway getting ahead of myself I'll um, just uh, wrap it up now and I'll let you know week by week how I'm going and uh, I'm too early to wish you Merry Christmas now but uh, it's getting close and almost to the end of the year and I'll and we can um, I'll do a bit of a summary of uh, this year and the next few posts. Alright, cheers, have a nice uh, end of December and uh, I'll talk to you next week. Alright, see you later.